Prince Harry and one of the most handsome men in the world, according to Variety magazine, are teaming up for charity. Here's more from Paul Higgins. Beyond the Barn is proud to be your new entertainment resource when it comes to equestrian horse riding sports, events, and activities. In the minutes ahead, we provide an overview to the positive and quality programming content that Beyond the Barn will feature as we travel the world, bringing you the very best equestrian has to offer. We shoot high as we start off with none other than Prince Harry, traveling to Palm Beach for his special charity event, the Centibali Royal Salute Polo Cup. Here's a slice of that event in addition to what you can expect on our first season of Beyond the Barn. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Higgins. Well, just moments from now, these gates will open and Prince Harry will be playing polo in support of his charity. And his charity will raise millions of dollars for children with HIV and AIDS. It's a very special event. I hope you can enjoy it with us from here in Wellington. I'm Paul Higgins. The most important thing today is that we are changing thousands of kids lives, uh, kids from 10 to 19 that have HIV and uh, I've been to Lesotho, I've been there, I've seen the work that Centivali has done, I've been in the grounds with Harry, I know how uh, committed he is to this cause and uh, that's why you know for me it's inspiring and it's an honor that I can be a, an ambassador for his charity. I really hope that all of you here tonight are not, not here just because it's such a wonderful event, but because you want to help some of the world's most vulnerable children and to give them the childhood and ultimately the future that they deserve. Thank you. Yes, the intended meaning of helping children in need was successful, a memorable event at the Valiente Polo Farm. While Prince Harry and the Centibali charity event was our initial focus, our attention broadened. Our future coverage will include a candid interview with Brandon Phillips, who plays for Annabelle Garrett's Post-it Stamp Farm Team. Brandon lives every day to its fullest, he talks of his near-death encounter at 14 years old with a cancerous tumor, his switch from hockey in Canada to his love for polo, plus the incredible charity work he does with young boys and girls in the Wellington area. Annabelle Garrett also sits down with us to discuss the teasing from Phillips that resulted in Garrett switching from show jumping to polo. She's never looked back and is now all in. Annabelle was a gracious host in sharing with us the spectacular equestrian world that Wellington has to offer. It's really the place to be, as Annabelle demonstrated. Plus, in our programming to come, we'll introduce you to the owners of the Wellington National Golf Club, Chip Smith and Doug Marty. Why golf when our focus is equestrian? We ask the same question, and the answer is rather unique. Chip and Marty are combining the lifestyle of golf and equestrian that occurs throughout the Wellington and Palm Beach area. They emphasize their commitment to bring the two together, showcasing a demonstration on the 18th fairway at Wellington National Golf Club. It was fascinating, and the events they have planned for the near future will be spectacular. We can't wait to share it with you. We have much more in store for you, including a series of interviews and features highlighting some very special riders in the Wellington area. The future is in the young athletes that have embraced their respective disciplines. Their commitment, skill, and vision is definitely worth sharing. That, to be honest, is just the beginning of what you can expect in season one of all the positive programming we have to offer in the equestrian world on Beyond the Barn.